The U.S. Department of Defense is weighing a request to send about 5,000 additional troops to the Middle East amid increasing tensions with Iran. Two U.S. officials told Reuters that the request for reinforcements did not come from the Trump administration, but from U.S. Central Command, the branch of the military overseeing operations in the region. The sources said it was not clear whether the Pentagon would approve the request. Tehran and Washington have been ramping up the rhetoric against one another following U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to try and cut Iran's oil exports to zero. The U.S. moved a carrier strike group to the Middle East earlier this month in response to what Washington said were possible preparations for an attack by Iran. Acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan said this week that while threats from Iran in the Middle East remained high, deterrence measures taken by the Pentagon had, quote, put on hold the potential for attacks on Americans. We do not want the situation to escalate. This is about deterrence, not about war. We're not about going to war. This is about continuing to protect our interests in the Middle East and conducting the missions that there, we are there to perform. Earlier this month, President Donald Trump denied a report the White House was considering sending 120,000 troops to the region. Uh, I think it's fake news, okay? Now, would I do that? Absolutely. But we have not planned for that. Hopefully, we're not going to have to plan for that. And if we did that, we'd send a hell of a lot more troops than that. The Pentagon regularly receives and declines requests for additional resources from U.S. combat commands throughout the world. One of the officials told Reuters the requested troops would be defensive in nature. It is unclear if any specific request will ultimately be presented to the White House. The Pentagon declined to comment.